Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't really know what this video is going to be. I'm trying to make an effort to post more on YouTube, but I didn't really plan this one out. It's probably just going to be like a vlog day in my life type of deal. Um, right now, I am in my car, obviously. I just got to the chiropractor. I go once a week, which I should. I think I'm going to try to start going once every other week because I don't think I need to go every single week. But he's also been helping me with my leg because for those of you who don't know like I almost like a uh, year and a half ago almost two years I got kicked by a horse and I had like a dent in the muscle and basically like the dent just never went away and it doesn't hurt or anything but it made an obvious difference in like my legs so I needed them to look a bit more symmetrical so we've been working on that and I think I think they definitely look more even now so that's good later today i'm going to do a full back workout which i will try to film for you guys filming in the new gym that i've been going to is a little bit a little bit tough if i had someone there to film for me it would be better but i don't have anyone to film for me so i will do my best to film that and whatever else i do today i will show you guys so right now i'm about to go inside and be tortured for half an hour and then I will be back. <laughs> Just finished up in there it went really well and he said I could start coming once every two weeks so I don't have to come back here every single week and I'm gonna try to film this while I'm driving and hope and pray that my phone doesn't fall all right guys back from the doctor I tried to film this in the car I'm sure you'll see like in the last clip I was like in the car for a little bit and I wanted to film it like while I was driving like I put it up on my dashboard and it fell within two seconds so here we are we're home I'm about to make some lunch, but while I'm doing that, I just wanted to talk to you guys about like my goals and I guess like not really my goals, but like what my plan is for the next few weeks and what I'm doing right now, what I'm eating, all of that. So, ew, hold on one second. I'm about to make some ground beef and rice, which is pretty much what I eat every day, but I had a really good cheat meal yesterday. It was really good. I had like nachos, fried pickles, mac and cheese. It was really good. Oh, we had buffalo chicken empanadas. That was really good. But now, back to ground beef and rice. So, basically right now, it has been October, November, December, January, February, March. It's been six months since I started bulking. And I have about two and a half more months to go which I'm not thrilled about but I am sorry I'm like not focused I am definitely trying to just use this time to my advantage and just know that these extra few weeks of building that I have is going to be worth it it's going to pay off so I'm excited about that kind of <laughs> I'm more excited to start cutting I'll start cutting in June it's looking like if everything goes according to plan it'll be June which I would like to start cutting earlier for summer, but this is just what I have to do. This is just how I have to do it for right now, which is fine by, you know, I'm assuming by August, I'll be down to like a reasonable, a reasonable weight. Not that my weight right now isn't reasonable. It's not crazy, but just a little bit like, higher than I'm normally comfortable sitting at but again I know I'm doing it for a reason and I know it'll be worth it and it will pay off and I'll have a lot of muscle underneath here sorry I'm beating my ground beef that being said um just to get real for a second yesterday 
I tried on my favorite pair of jeans. Okay, my absolute favorite pair of jeans. And they're mom jeans, so they're like baggy. And they were so tight on me that I just had to take them off. I couldn't even wear them. That definitely, that definitely stung a little. But I, again, I know, I know I'm going to cut the fat and they will fit again, but it's definitely disheartening that I have now one pair of jeans out of my one, two, three, four, five. I have like, I have like six pairs of jeans and one pair fits me right now, which, you know, it is what it is. But like summer's coming and I want to buy clothes and bathing suits and whatever because I, you know, I like to buy that stuff. And I just don't even know what to buy because from June on, my body is going to change so much that like, I don't want to buy things now that are going to fit me now. And then halfway through the summer, they're going to be way too big on me. So I don't really know what to do about that. It's kind of frustrating. I mean, recently I've only really been buying gym clothes because again, I don't want to buy like nice clothes and bathing suits and whatever. And then in, you know, a few months, it's going to like not fit me the way I want it to fit me. So I don't know, I guess I'm trying to like hold off and wait until it gets closer to summer and I know more what I'm going to be looking like, I guess, if that makes sense. But yeah, that kind of sucks. And I know gym clothes, like if I buy gym clothes now, like I'll still buy like leggings and stuff in my normal size because they're stretchy and it'll, it'll work no matter kind of what size I am. The only thing I haven't bought was sports bras because that is definitely, I definitely need more, but sports bras, I still, I don't really know like what even size I am right now because all the stuff I have. I was extra small for a while, then even before I started bulking, I went up to a small, and it's definitely not because my boobs are getting bigger. It's, I think it's just like my back and my lats are getting bigger, and I'm definitely, obviously, I have a lot more body fat than normally, than I normally do. But, um, yeah, that's just been something I've been thinking about a lot recently because I want to buy cute clothes, and I just don't know. Like, I, it's not even like buying bigger clothes is, is what's difficult for me like it's not like the mental like i mean yeah like it's like kind of weird but it's more so like i just don't want to waste my money on like clothes and stuff that's not gonna fit me in a few months so that's kind of where i'm at with that but yes so two and a half more months of bulking then we'll be shredding and i'm very 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 excited to be shredding and you know what i've never cut like super super lean before and the other times in my life that I've done a cut and I say air like say it with air quotes because I've never done a true cut where like everything was like all of like my boxes were checked because the first time I ever tried to like do a cut it was like after I got a new job and I was at work so much that I just wasn't eating and wasn't training so like yeah I lost weight but I wasn't I wasn't eating, I wasn't training, so I wasn't holding on to any of the muscle. And then after that, I bulked up again. And then when I wanted to, st I started my cut and then like two months in to the cut was around this time last year when all the gyms closed. So again, yeah, I lost the weight, but I also lost a lot of muscle because there was no gyms and I didn't buy, I didn't buy like my barbell and everything until like a few months into like the lockdown. And you know, it was what it was, I made the best of it. But now this is the first time where I'm going to have like my training, my nutrition, everything in check. So I'm really excited to see what I look like by the end. Yeah, I'm gonna finish cooking this, maybe burning it, and I'll talk to you guys after. All right, sorry, look. I look a mess right now, but I just finished eating. And before I go to the gym, I want to take my dogs to the park. So I want to show you guys them and we're gonna let them run at like our, we have a park around the block. So we'll take them and let them run because they didn't go for a walk this morning. And <laughs> look at them, they're both sitting by my feet, like shaking and crying because they're so excited. Lucy, you guys excited? You ready? 
Just got to the gym and realized that I forgot my water at home so I'm very upset my big like Yeti what is going on don't worry once I get in there I'm gonna like fix this I just trust me I'll fix it um yeah I'm gonna do back workout I'm gonna film as much of it as I possibly can ideally I'll film all of it but if it's crowded definitely won't get all of it but I'll get some of it and I will put it in this video, obviously. But yeah, I'm just gonna take my pre-workout. I use Ghost Legend in the flavor Red Berry. It's supposed to taste, taste like a red Sour Patch Kid. I don't think it tastes like a red Sour Patch Kid, but it works. Ouch, and I always spill it all over myself. And I just ate two rice cakes, so I always eat two rice cakes before I go to the gym. You know, get some carbs in and I just ate them and took like one sip of water, so I'm dying. Oh my God, there's so many people behind me. I always feel very paranoid that someone's watching me in my car or that I'm not gonna notice and there's gonna be someone in the car next to me like staring at me. 10 out of 10 times there never is, but we love some good old fashioned paranoia. Oh my God, I'm spilling the shit everywhere. Jesus, all right. You're so good workout. Well, that is not the same with my water bottle. Without without my big water bottle. And I just shook my fucking bun out of place. Every time I park in front in the gym, there's like a red wall in the front. And it, I feel like it always just makes me look like orange. But, um, yep. Don't really have anything else to say. I kind of just want to sit in the car for a minute and marinate before I go in. All right guys, so I figured I would do a voiceover for my workout instead of adding music. Um, I didn't film two of my workouts or two of my exercises. I filmed everything else. So after my warm up sets of straight arm lat pullovers, I went right into deadlifts. Um, this is 225 for 10 and I kept increasing weight and whatever. And I actually hit a PR. This is why I haven't been doing deadlifts too much. And I just started incorporating them again. And the reason I don't do them so often is because I get very excited about getting my numbers up. And I start to do too often, like a 3-2 or 1 rep max, which isn't super beneficial for what I'm trying to do right now, like bodybuilding wise. But 
I do like to have fun with it, and I am trying to get to a 315 deadlift. My top set today, I did 285 for the first time for one, and I'm pretty happy with that. Here I have 265 on the bar, which I pulled for five reps, which is one more rep than last week. So really happy about that. I also want to talk really quickly about keeping a logbook. I've never been one to keep a logbook in the gym, and for the past two or three weeks, I decided to buy a logbook and keep track of all my lifts. And it's crazy and crazy motivating for me. Like I go back each week and I can look at you know what weights I'm using and what reps I'm using and make sure I'm beating that by at least one rep each week or you know adding more weight or whatever. And I don't know, something about just visually seeing myself like beating these numbers is just really, really motivating and I'm obsessed with it. So if you guys are not keeping a logbook to ensure that you're progressing, definitely go on Amazon, buy a logbook for $10 and you will not regret it. And here is my top set, 285 for one. I'm happy with this. My background did a little bit, but you know what, for a PR rep, I am not mad at this. All right, next we have some single arm dumbbell rows. Uh, here I am pulling 90 and these felt really good, but looking back at the video, I feel like they look maybe just a little bit sloppy, so next time I have to be a little bit more aware of that, but they felt really good today. I only filmed one side because this is where the gym started to get a little bit crowded, so I couldn't film like both sides of every exercise, but progressing with these rows have been super, super fun for me. Here we have some lat pull downs, pretty self explanatory. Um, I have to stand on a thing to get my Versa grips around the bar sometimes. But yep, I always do a variation of a lat pull down on my back days. I love it. And this video actually cut short. This is where my phone told me I had no storage. So this one got cut short. <laughs> And the last exercise I filmed, this is like a lower lat row, pull down, whatever you want to call it. I started doing these a few weeks ago, and this is one of my absolute favorite back exercises. If you see, I keep my body kind of leaning towards the side that I'm using almost. I don't want to use the word leaning, but I don't know how else to explain it. And at the top, I'm not letting my arm go for a full stretch. I'm keeping that lower lat engaged and focusing on pulling back with my elbow instead of my hand. So I'm really squeezing my lat and avoiding using that bicep. All right, guys, just finished my workout. Um, I feel like I look weird. Uh, I filmed, I filmed pretty much all of it except for the last exercise I did bicep curls but I started to get crowded and like there just wasn't a lot of room in the area that I was in so but I felt most of it I had a such a fucking good lift today I feel really good and yeah and I'm gonna go home and eat and just chill out and take a fucking shower because I'm disgusting and actually today I wore um I wore a belt for the first time today and I really liked it and now the top of my pants are really sweaty so yeah I'm gonna go home and do that shit and start editing this video because I feel like I have a lot. And also my fucking, my phone, I have no storage. So I kept like, oh, like my last exercise that I filmed, it was like cutting it short because it was like, you have no storage. And I was like, I had to go through and delete stuff, but it is what it is. So yes, I will see you guys later. All right guys, it's the next day. It's like seven in the morning. I'm about to go to the gym because I have to get shit done today. So I have to go to the gym early, which I'm not thrilled about, but um, I'm doing it. It's freezing. I didn't close out this video yesterday. That seems to be a trend for me, not closing out the videos the same day. But I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it wasn't too boring. And I hope you learned something from my workout, maybe. Hope you liked it. <laughs> Um, if you did like it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe, leave a comment, all that fun stuff. Like I said in the beginning, I'm going to try to post more on here. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss anything. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Kayla Jordan Fit, where I post like more day-to-day -day stuff. 
and I will see you guys in the next video.